Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <coughs> We're playing some more Starfield on PC through Xbox Game Pass. Let's go into Ebside. I think we've been here before, earlier in our playthrough. But I could be wrong on that, because it's... You never know. While we're here, you better stay off the Aurora. You don't want that drug scrambling your brains. Oh, of course not. I don't do drugs in general. Next, I have to, okay. because of... Let's settle this hey there. Once Come in and let your cares melt away for a while. Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. Down your third velocity, and you're out cold. By the third chimera, you're floating on frickin' cloud nine. I don't know about you, but that's where I'd rather be. Mm. Yeah, I guess you're right. Customers choose our lounge because they desire a more relaxed and sedate journey as they experience the joy of Aurora. We have no blaring music, no crowds, no chaos. The mood here is specifically crafted to allow a full range of mindful self-exploration. No blaring music, but I can hear bass. I call bullshit on, on your- On the contrary, our members lounge has been specifically tailored for that very task. It's a completely secure and monitored environment where you can enjoy your aurora without the fear of being disturbed. A rare commodity in Neon. If you desire access to the lounge, you can purchase admittance for a completely reasonable fee. Otherwise, you're welcome to relax, listen to our music, and perhaps enjoy a chimera. It's a specialty alcoholic beverage only served here at Euphorica. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Not only will you be able to experience one of the most exclusive Aurora lounges in Neon, you also have access to our private bar. The bartender down there is a personal friend of mine, and he sells some rather... unique items. <clears throat> now sit back, relax, and unwind. So I'm guessing I have to go down there to do this quest. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one. Okay. So I looked at my skills. Whoa, what the hell? Okay. I looked at my skills to see what I want to... Oh, yeah, and that's this one. Yeah, I don't know if I, I, don't know if I want to go into that or not, honestly. Ship command, what does this do? Oh. Honestly, that might be worth having. I need to spend more points. You can craft specialty food and drinks, gourmet. Yeah, no, food is not worth it because food does not really do much for me at all. I don't really want to pickpocket people. Actually, you know what? Hold on. We've not, I've not tried pickpocket yet. Hold on. I'm actually curious. Let's see how this works. Let's see how this works. I'm, I'm, I'm actually very, very, very curious. Let's see how it works. I mean, I saved. So it doesn't matter if I get caught or not. So let, let's, let's try this out. Detected. Oh, and do I get XP for it, I wonder. <laughs> okay, I'm not I'm not gonna save. I can um You know what? I will save over an autosave. How about that? Yes. Okay, so what does he have? Okay, he has that. We're detected right now, but that's fine. I really don't care. Okay. 
Okay, and what and what? Care for another chimera? You good? Sure. Thanks, Micah. I keep them coming. It's and yeah, it it does not if you're in need stop. Of some extra relaxation today. Perhaps I could interest you in a visit to the members' lounge. Do I get XP for it? Could, but I can't swing that right no, now. No, I don't. I don't get XP for it. Honestly, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it, honestly. Like... Uh, yeah, I know. I don't think it's worth it. Can I... Yeah, let's just delete this one and then... Load up this one. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's because we were detected and they weren't reacting to that at all. Yeah, see, we're seen right now, I'll but yet they're not. Now. I'll have that ready for you shortly. Welcome, please. I can offer you a drink. <clears throat> On the contrary, it's a completely sick. If you desire access, otherwise, enjoy okay. your drink. So we have that. Yeah. So where is the downstairs? Here? Yes. Okay, so, so we have to do that in order to. And it's 5,000 credits. Care for another chimera? Ah, uh, sure. Thanks, Micah. I keep them coming. It's been a rough time. <clears throat> if you un Do I want to unlock stealth? I mean, stealing? Just so I can maybe get keys and stuff just for certain things? Or. Would this allow me to steal contraband? Nah, there's this. Nah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not. Nah, it's, it's not worth it. Deception, diplomacy, isolation. See, I need to get this one done before I do that. Oh, I want rank four. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so yeah, there's really nothing else here I want. Like, at all. Yeah, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I really don't care about this. I mean, that one's nice, but I can heal myself, so who cares? I don't really care about outposts. I don't care about that. This one is nice, but I, there's really nothing here I want. Just to get this one. Like, at all. I mean, that one is nice, I guess. I mean, I could go for persuasion for when we do need persuasion, but I kind of want to go for this. I tested this and it works for both of the guns I have now. And let me go over to here. It will bump. Oh, the range is higher now. Why is the range higher? Do I have that already? I don't. Why is the range on that higher? It wasn't higher before. Was it a bug or something? Okay, so that's 10 points higher than what it was earlier. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. And this is four points higher, no five. 
What the frick? Hold on now. This is this is weird. Hold on now. This is weird. Let's just do this. Let's just do this and see where it goes. I think that's a bug. I I I I don't I don't trust those numbers. I don't trust those numbers. I don't I don't trust those numbers. At all. Because before I put a, a cut in the video, well, actually no, after, it was showing different numbers. No, it's still showing the same numbers. What the fudge, dude? Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I'll take it then. I mean, I might as well. <clears throat> Small chance to stun. Reloads faster while standing still. I mean, that's kind of nice. But I want this. I want this. Mostly for the range. Might as well. Welcome. Please, I can offer you... On the contrary, it's a completely... If you desire otherwise... 5,000, yeah. Choice. Please let <coughs> me know if you need anything else. I see. I'd be willing to divulge this. Because mm. when you work the bar, your clients tend to be more honest than they'd like to be. And besides, information isn't a drink that you can sample. When clients come to my bar, they expect a certain amount of discretion. Eroding their trust is not something I'm willing to do. For free. Hmm, you shouldn't do it at all. Thank you for your service. <laughs> the man you want goes by the name of Stratos. You'll find him at Madame Savage's. He's what you would call a fan of Miss Borealis's works. Or maybe fanatic is a more accurate term. Either way, he's the one you want. But you didn't hear it from me. He's one of the usual lowlifes you'll find at Madame Savage's. Hmm. He's also a very fervent admirer of Miss Borealis and her work. It wouldn't surprise me if that admiration extended to her possessions. For fans like him, Trinkets and mementos are a way to get closer to the one they admire. Fallen stardust. Mm. You're always welcome here. Well, let's go see what... <clears throat> what this guy has for sale, shall we? After we spent, like, half of our money on getting in here. Hey. Care for some Aurora? Hello there. On behalf of Euphorica, I welcome you to our members' lounge. I'll be happy to provide whatever you need for my private bar to enhance your experience. Can I get you anything? Some Aurora? She said no music was in here. Perhaps. Don't concern yourself. You can rest assured that purchasing Aurora from this establishment is not only safe, it's completely legal. Of course. Nope. We also offer an... I'm certain you'll... <laughs> Contraband. Slows time by 40%? Okay, I can see how that's kind of worth having, but it's contraband. So you can't take it everywhere. You're welcome to sit back, relax, and enjoy your time here. She said there was someone else here though, right? You have to have the key just to get in here. Are you serious? Any vacancies on your crew? Sure. Thanks, Micah. Take it easy. I keep them coming. It's been a rough day. If you are need of There's no one else here! Oh. I can hear them talking. What the frick, dude? 
<coughs> In the meantime, please let me know if there's anything else you need. Excuse me, I don't suppose you're looking for a robotics expert, are you? I have a vested interest in getting out of Neon. Mm. <laughs> so much for... I don't have... I don't know if I have any need for robots. I mean, yeah, I have a robot companion, but I want someone that can benefit the ship more than anything. So let me go to my skills. Tech. Robots. 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 Yeah, I don't see that icon over here at all. So is it under science? No, it is not. Is it under combat? No, it is not. Is it under this one? No, it is not. Is it under physical? No, it is not. Oh, robotics, yeah. Oh, uh, it was level... Oh, it was level 2. Oh, more damage. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't really care about that. I want stuff to actually benefit my ship for ship combat. I can handle everything else myself. Like, yeah. I want the upper edge in, in space combat. That's mostly all I want. If I have to eat fish for dinner one more time, I think I'm going to lose it. Too bad I can't squeeze any Orbora from these fish. Look what he's doing, everyone. Oh, my God. It's... That time of the year again. Ha! Oh wait, you can't breathe? Go to best bite up in the fridge. Then you can breathe. I'm homeless now. I cast clairvoyance. I'm not targeting a citizen. My target icon is not over the citizen, so you need to fix that, devs. Thank you. <clears throat> but please, focus on getting, um, you know, other stuff in the game first. Okay. 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 I couldn't just walk around or take a. a Never mind. Music so much. You a fan of Borealis too? I vibe with that bird hard. She's a beast on the beat, and I love her. Got a track in the head right now. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you hear it? It's bloody mood, isn't it? I just need some more Aurora so I can get me head bobbing with the wave. Find that zone. Yeah, which is why it 
pains me to be here and not in the Astral Lounge. I can't stand being away from that place. And, uh... But I can't listen to Borealis if I'm not zoning. That bird song deserves the best mm. eye Aurora can fly. A fan, mate. I'm way more than that. I've been following her career since her club hopping days. I know every song, every lyric, and every beat. I can probably tell you the number of hairs on her head. If you care about that sort of thing. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing weird about it. I just vibe with her music on like a cellular level. You understand? In fact, I've made a whole bloody career out of following that woman. <laughs> Hell, I probably know that bird better than she knows herself. It's the way she makes the colors dance. With most beats, you get these colorful flashes and, and the world gets all wavy like. But Borealis makes the Aurora dance like nothing I've ever seen. Her mods puts out a spectrum of colors that don't even exist. When she hits those high notes and you're completely zoned, you don't just ride the wave, you steer it. So you get it then. Borealis's mods are an experience. Every note is like a set of hands lifting you up in a bizarre, real, gentle like. And when it peaks, it's like you reached a whole new state of being. Mate, there's no way in hell I'm giving you this. This slate brings me closer to her. As a biggest fan, I feel like I deserve to have it. Mm. Oh, fudge. I didn't steal anything. Borealis always says her music belongs to her fans. So I just took what was mine. <coughs> Nah, <laughs> I'll just cite the oldest law in the book. Finders, keepers. I'm not giving up this slate. <laughs> Why would I part with the one thing that connects me to her? If I do this, my wife won't like it. Hmm. Right. Ah. She don't even know who I am. Ah. <laughs> Who's what you know? Even her worst zoned out ramblings are freaking gems. Yeah, I, I do want what's best for her. I don't okay. want that. She should know I appreciate her. You just stop okay. pressing, do ya? Yeah. Okay. I hope so. Go ahead. Oh, oh, bummer, man. I'll give you this late. Me and Borealis, we got a connection. I'm not letting you mess with that. A good song can play on repeat. Mate, there's no way you. This slate. 
I didn't steal Borealis. Off. Later. Uh, Bummerinos, dude. Um, uh, not this one. This one. Bummerinos, man. Bummer. Renos. Oh well, we tried. I mean. Oh look, it's like we never even failed to begin with. Save scum. I love it. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder if we could steal it from him or not. Oh well, who cares? Uh, no. Uh, Have you been to the Astral Lounge? Borealis. Mate, <coughs> there's no, this slate brings me close. So if I do if this like the add any, maybe we could talk. Okay, so I don't have any. Why would I part with the one thing that connects me to her? And who are you? Damn. I didn't realize this was a work in progress. Right. I'm keeping this late. I'm keeping this late. Yeah, no. You're not going to. I want to save scum until I get this done right. A good song can play. Mate, there's this slate. Why would I part with the one? Nah. For real. You know what? You might be. You're starting to make a lot of sense. Really? She didn't I dislike didn't it. Knew who I was. As much as I hate to admit it, you're right. Okay, you can have the slate. But next time I stop by, I want to hear a mod so sick it beats the piss. My brain. She didn't hate the fact that I did that. Is yeah. it because she was no? So it can. Uh, I re I remember that I did that once, and she did not like it. I guess we can do that. Okay, interesting. Maybe I will focus more on those then. Cause that kinda came in handy. And she didn't hate me for it at all that time. That side's a bad place for two. Interesting. I wonder why. I wonder why she did not hate me for it. Or find my choice, you know. Save it for someone who gives a damn. I don't give a fudge nuggets. You know, can you turn the music down? I mean, with the security around here. These idiots aren't quite as honest as the Free Star Rangers. Hell yeah! This is awesome! We're going to the VIP balcony. Nice. And then we're going over to here. Do 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 do
I'm trying to talk to you. Come on now. Hey. I feel like I know you. A fan, really. Although, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. They can get pretty possessive. Doesn't matter if it's my things or my time. I get that. There's definitely a line you shouldn't cross. But sounds like it all worked out in the end. I've got my slate, which means the people will get their trip. Inspiration's like a wave. Sometimes it's hard to catch it before the break. That's what this slate is. A still wave. A feeling frozen in time. And I appreciate you bringing it back to me. Yeah. It looked like nothing was downloaded, but tampered with. I'm almost glad it was taken by a fan instead of a competitor. Would have been awful to lose that thing. I was working on a brand new concept piece about floating into the center of existence. I'm not feeling it yet. I'm still working out the last few sections, but eventually I'll give the spin in the Astral Lounge. Thanks again for finding that thing. Next time, I'll try and keep an eye on it. Hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> Talk to Clover. <clears throat> Who the heck is Clover? I mean, sure, we're here, why not? Might as well. Alright, now where to? Back this way, fair enough. We're going to be visiting the Astral Land while we're here. I mean, that's a given, right? <laughs> Welcome to Keltpur. Again! Look, you can tell Mr. Okaribo that I'm doing everything I can. Blood from a stone, if you'll pardon the expression. Oh, my lord. You aren't here about Mr. Okadibo's debt to Kelkor. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Let me start over. My name's Clover McKenna, but you can call me Chloe. Sorry for me outburst. That's kind of you. This mess with Mr. Okadibo over at the Neon Mining League has really thrown me off my game. Hmm. If only you knew. Mr. Okaribo owes a substantial debt to Keltkor. I've given him more than enough time to try and come up with the money, but my father's patience is running out. Frankly, I don't know how much longer I can stall. You'd be willing to help out. That's awfully kind of you. Just because I work for a megacorp doesn't mean I don't have a heart. Saburo, uh, I mean, Mr. Okadigo, he's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, especially in this city. He really needs help, but he's too proud to accept any money from me. Maybe he'd listen to someone like you? That is a rather personal question. And I would prefer we kept things professional, if you don't mind. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd be splendid. Just... amazing. If you can get his debt off my conscience, I'd be grateful. It's been on my mind so much I've been keeping a diary. And don't <laughs> worry about payment. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. McKenna always keeps that promise. New mission, okay. When he opened the shop, he outfitted it with equipment from our company. Spent a bundle of cash he didn't have. Obviously, business hasn't been going well, because he's fallen way behind on his payments. Opening a mining business on a world almost entirely covered in ocean probably wasn't the most savvy of business plans. I suppose he intended to cater to travelers that were passing through our system. But it's clearly backfired. A poor man. Hmm. Have a fine day. All right, let's go do this one now. <laughs> I will say there is a lot to do in this game. I, I am really enjoying this game. You don't. away from Ebside. The locals there don't exactly appreciate the tourists. Welcome, welcome my friend. It's been a long time since I've seen a new face. Exactly. I can't believe this place is still open. I give it a few more months before this. I'm afraid it is. You see, when I opened this shop, I had grand ambitions of creating a mining supply empire on Volai. Yet here I am, only a few years later. Pockets empty, and my business on the verge of closure. It is a sad day. That would be a blessing, my friend, but I wouldn't want to impose. Certainly, my friend. Hmm. I mean, I could buy all of this, and wouldn't that help his, I mean, sure. <laughs> no, no, that's worth it. That's not worth it. That's not worth it. No, no, that's worth it. Auto riff it. You would do that for a total stranger? Bless you, my friend. Bless you. I've come up with an idea that I'm hoping will generate a lot of interest in my business. And you were the final element that was missing. If you could bring these flyers to some of the other vendors in Neon, it would explain how we can improve our businesses as a group. I would be at Neon's mercy. Living in a sleep crate and walking the streets, I'm sure. But with your help, perhaps I can avoid such a fate. Many Indian keep to their own, and I believe this is why we fail. James Newell and his Merchant Alliance friends are on the right track, but all they do is spend their time complaining, never solving. We must unify, band together, and help each other out. Then, when one of us falls, the others can reach down and help him rise from the dust. In the meantime, we will refer people to each other's shops. Perhaps even promote sales together. It would benefit us all. So they want to unify. They want um, a union, basically, is what he's implying. I like that. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. You have no idea the weight you have lifted from my shoulders. I appreciate your help. If there's anything I can do, Anything at all, please let me know. Yeah, I will. Um, I really appreciate definitely you. support your store because of reasons. 
because it will allow me to bypass mining a whole lot. I thought I tracked it. I mean, are you a merchant? If it's to need something. Not interested. Not interested. All right, what's off? I'm busy. Looking to blow a hole in something? If you're here to buy, take a look around the shop. Just. My store, my rules. Good point. If you don't like it, talk to Styx. He runs our run. Uh... That's more like it. You know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating Styx like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. Not something I'm interested in. Hmm. You'd do that? Huh. Okay. Maybe I misjudged you. Huh. I'm glad you see sticks is more than just a possession. The lowlife that did this to my buddy calls himself Warlord. <laughs> you can probably find him somewhere near Euphorica. Scare the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the Ebside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the Sticks. Ah, <sighs> sometimes Sticks. I wonder how things would have been different if I took a different path. I'm sorry. Your inquiry is invalid. Neon Tacto deals in weapons and for paint and home decor. Affirmative. Your complaint. All complaints are set to be ignored or as a result, the nature of the complaint is irrelevant. Only the person filing it is recorded. Goodbye. Hmm. Oh my god. Really? There's a weapon thingy here. An auto rivet. Nice. All weapons are currently 0% off. Nice. <laughs> What can I get you? I'm just browsing your store, man. That's all I'm doing. Tombstone. Yep, nothing there I want. The other day, Sticks, uh, I met a miner from Gazal. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. Oh, yeah, uh, I didn't get her either. Not at first. But then I realized she wasn't a miner. She was a gold digger. <laughs> How did I know? Because all she ever wanted was mine. <laughs> Get it? Get it, Sticks. You're laughing under the Yeah, so now the range is fixed to 50. What the hell, dude? Zero wire adhesive. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. What don't you understand, yes. Sticks? Crime happens because the people in charge let it happen. Alright, so... <clears throat> Ask people if they are interested. They probably have to help them out first before they'll become interested.
We're fully stocked and ready to sell. Here, let me see that. Oh, not a bad idea. You might be onto something here. Thanks for bringing this to me. The first time I brought up the subject, we got into a huge argument. Seagert said he had every intention of paying Neon security and that it was final. After that, I tried to speak to him a few times, but he's always been too busy to spend the time to sit down and have a decent conversation. It's obvious he has no intentions of talking to me anymore. I honestly don't know what I did to make him so angry with me. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet they were on. They're just kids having fun, James. Don't kid yourself, Rosa. Aurora isn't fun. It's a poison, and it needs to be taken off the streets. Hmm. James, please. Oh, yeah. Goosebacks. Got those the place is dumb. Just don't even bother with you. Okay, so I guess we can go in here now and try this one. Advice. We hear the name Benjamin Bayou, and we should duck the other way. Fast. Wow, we just had fun, didn't we, little lady? You good? Ah, a customer. Feel free to spend your... Yeah? If you're here for... Browse all you like. Look, I don't have time for as soon as word gets up. Uh, eh, whatever, just hand it over. I'll look at it on my own time. Got plenty of ice cold drinks in stock. All day, all night. Well, that's two down. Now we gotta find more. I wonder if we can get some to them or not. I'm curious, actually. Um... There's nothing over here. Oh, hey, what is this? Industrial workbench. Can't really use that. Don't really need to, honestly. Are you a store? Hello there. Welcome to Ryujin Tower. Have a nice day. No, but I know these two are. How can I help? I have some excellent weapons on sale today. Okay, maybe I cannot give one to them. Well, I'd better be. Those days are behind me, though. See you later. Yeah, so they work for here, so they don't need one at all. So it's more than likely only the ones out here. I more than likely have to... What? Help them out first. Maybe I can give one to them. While we're here, you might want to stay away from the edge of the upper platform. It's a long way down. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh... You're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets. Even from us. Yeah, about that. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Hmm. Law enforcement isn't exactly welcome in Neon, but that shouldn't deter you from your duty. Ah, rookies. I'm proud of you. Without duty and honor, you'd have nothing left. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton. 
does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. All right, well, later. we'll do that one much later. I want to try to finish. Is that a store? Oh, I already talked to him, yeah. Uh, maybe up here. Maybe up here. We'll see. If you want to find a place to stay while we're here, I've heard that the Hotel Voli is top notch. Hello there. Let me know. Business could always be better. I'll take that. Thanks for stopping by. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, maybe. The Emporium, I don't think that would be one. Uh, I have two more to go through. Now, Terra Brew is not one. Enhance, no. Three Star Rangers were able to recall your financial institution. institution. Have you tried one of our people? Joe, save those baroons that are worship a snake. Terra Briz a corporate business, so it's not going to work. Let's see what the Emporium is, I guess. Maybe we can do one here. Headlock will destroy. Yes. Can I help you? Oh. Well, maybe I'll give it some thought. Maybe. Please visit us again if you're in the market for luxury items. Okay. So that's four. Correct? Guess we can try over here. There are a ton of distractions in Neon, so I expect you to be on your best behavior here. You and Abby really pulled through for me. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. I wouldn't mind a bit of extra traffic as long as the supplies allow for it. A few extra credits never hurt. I mean, if that one guy doesn't want to do it. Stay away from Aurora before you get hooked. It's a wonderful. Let me know if you need any assistance with the flyers. Ah, thank you so much, my friend. I believe that this will be a great boon for my business. Thank you for taking the time to do this for me. It is not often to see such kindness here in Neon. He paid me when it used to be paying off. Oh, she did. Miss McKenna is very kind, but I cannot accept. It is my responsibility to pay the loan. If I cannot, then what happens, happens. Things have improved, my friend. 
thanks to you. But even when business is good, there are still ebbs and flows. The debt, on the other hand, is constant. I am sorry, my friend, but I can do no such thing. When a man signs a contract, he must honor it, no matter the terms. But it's not a loophole. It's more of a donation. And there are others much more deserving. Hmm. I disagree. It would hurt me to live with the shame. That's what I'm hoping. Pride uh, is all well. I have. What are credits compared to a man's integrity and honor? I am sorry. I know you and Miss McKenna mean well, but I simply cannot accept this donation. Ah, yes. You are here on behalf of Miss McKenna. I am glad you understand. I am sorry. I know you... Listen to me, my friend. I hear what the people say on the street. It, I was aiming so much higher, hoping to attract these. Mm. It was stupid to assume. Hmm. I hope you have a glorious day, my friend. Mm. Well, I mean, I tried, and I really don't feel like doing all of that again. So I'll just turn it in. I'll see. I'll see how much this debt is. So I do have money to spare, so whatever. I really don't Get care. Get out of my face. You want to gawk at something? Take it to the app. Hmm. My mother wanted me to be a doctor. Doctor? You used to have a mom. Well, I have one, but... I wonder how many poor souls who couldn't make I'd rather not talk about it, honestly. ...ended up working at the fisheries in Neon. What? I'm working here? Oh really? If you'll excuse so me, Clover likes him. And she wants to help him avoid the fluctuating interest rates. Okay. Not sure if those Varun zealots live in space or not separate. Honestly, no one has that one today. No one has this one. No one has this one. No one does this one. No. <laughs> oh, that's gotta suck for today. Oh man, no one has that one at all. Mmm. No one has that one. <laughs> no one has this one either. No one has that one at all. You get fired if you do just one of those. Yeah, we have that one as well because, you know, there's no 
there's no um yeah yeah so everything here is just yeah everything here is basically what we don't have in real life right now this is a jab to all employers and everyone else in real life right here a complete jab and it sucks but it's true we have no we have no rights we have no privacy in a workplace we have no safe environments in the workplace we're never trained we have no fair wages we have no private family life we're not free from this stuff I mean look at the whole Activision buyout that's the whole reason why honestly um free, free from retaliation for filing claims yeah if you file one claim you're fired and you're always monitored by your employer always and if you do bad things once you're out see all of this shit we don't have but we do have this one <laughs> constantly that's, that's a jab at everything Those who couldn't make it in New Atlantis ended up working at the fisheries in Neon don't forget we sell all types of raw materials as well Up. What the frick, dude? I'm excited. So glad you stopped by today. Ah, yes, you are here on behalf of. Really? Let me take a look. Oh, I did not know she felt this way. She is always so professional. I thought she did not like me. That is why I have sent proxies to negotiate my debt. And I like her. Oh, that came out wrong. What I meant to say was, I respect her business acumen. <laughs> Look at me. My palms are sweating. Regardless, you have done me a service, and for that, I thank you. You can tell Miss McKenna, I mean Chloe, that I accept her offer. I do have feelings for her, and maybe now I will have the courage to tell her. I know they say never to mix business with pleasure, but there are always exceptions. Come back soon, my friend. It's always a treat to see you. Stick to the main plaza, unless you like getting soaked by the rain. What? Clover McKenna, lovely day for it. That's fantastic. I was worried he'd take it the wrong way, so I'm glad you were able to convince him. I'll arrange for the funds to be transferred immediately. Hopefully father will forgive the late fees. And if he doesn't... I can always reimburse them when he retires. In any case, thank you. And here, for your efforts. 100 more XP. Hell yeah. We're slowly getting levels. Do we have any more stories, I wonder? I don't know if we do or not. And I honestly... Uh, the... Where's this one at? Oh yeah, I gotta do this one still. Okay. 
Let's do this one in the next video. Where is my actual save? Here it is. Two days and eight hours in. Did I see that right? Hold up. Two days and nine hours. I mean, for this game to last me that long so far, that's a lot of content. I've barely even pushed into the main story. Which means I know I should, but it's a new game. I don't care. Whatever. Anyways, if you guys have enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. And I will see all of you next time. Have a wonderful day.